Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel for ACL Patterns and More. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do um, Peyote with a Twist, Not Crochet by Herlende Lens. Um, and, but today I'm going to be showing you the double seam technique. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that, which this technique helps us work with even count number of, uh, of beads. So the circumference is an even count number, so stay tuned. Okay, so to start our um, peyote with a twist, not crochet, with a double seam, we are going to start with um, with the circumference, which is the amount of beads that we're going to be working with. In this case, I'm going to be using 16 beads. So we're going to use the circumference plus two beads. So I'm going to be using 16 plus two. Okay, and those two are the ones that are going to become our double seam. So I'm going to be using these two colors, turquoise and bronze, um, so that you can see them a little bit better, hopefully. And um, so let's start. I just have a stopper bead here, and I'm going to be picking up two turquoise, and then I'm going to do 14 br uh, bronze. And that's all I can match is making so much noise over there. So I have two turquoise, and then I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. That would be a total of sixteen plus two more. So I'm going to be using two more turquoise. Okay, I'm going to bring these down to the bottom to where I have my stopper bead. And then we're just gonna do even count peyote from here, so. This is nothing fancy, it's just even count peyote. Okay, we're getting to the end of our third row here. And I just turn it because that's a little bit easier for me. So again, this is just even count peyote. And we're going to be working for, um, so whatever our circumference is, in this case 16, we're gonna do 16 rows plus one before we join, um, before we, we join the two ends and make it a tube. So I'm not going to bead the whole thing right now because I want to save a little bit of time. But basic even count peyote, we're going to continue that, like I said, for 
whatever the amount of your circumference is plus one bead. So in this case, I have, I'm have i using um, 16 beads for my circumference. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 plus 2. So I have to have 16 rows plus 1. Well, I don't have to have, but um, usually this is where you join it in, unless you're using a um, pattern for uh, bead crochet. And then in that case, you would join it wherever your pattern meets up and works nicely. So it doesn't have to be the circumference plus one, but if you're not using a pattern, a particular pattern where you need to, to go beyond that or um, where you need to go beyond that to make it match, then you would, you were, um, your safest bet is to go with your circumference plus one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is the same amount of our circumference and we're gonna do one more row. So this is our last row. On your last row, you're not gonna complete the entire row. You're going to skip, well not skip, but you're not going to add the last bead. And I will show you what I mean in a second. Well, a couple seconds. Okay, so. If we were going to continue um, finishing this row, we would add one more bead. We're not gonna add that bead here right now. So instead, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn it this way, just so it's a little bit more comfortable. And I'm gonna try not to move it as much to show you how to join it. So we're going to come, we're gonna be coming out of this bead here. And we're going to go into this bead here, which is, so we're gonna go in this direction towards the inside of our beadwork. Now I'm not going to close it all the way so that you can see a little bit better the thread path. So I'm just going to bring it close enough. After we go through that bead we're going to go through this bead here once we have it folded. We're going to go through this bead here. Let me untangle this so you can see the thread path. Then we're going to go to this bead here in that direction. Okay, and then we're going to stitch through this bead here, which is the one we went to into originally. In that we're going to close. We're going to tighten it until it closes, and your both of these rows or um, these columns are going to are going to uh, match up. And I'm sorry about the squeaking. Apparently, Matt just decided that it's time to play. I'm going to undo it so, to show you again. Okay, so once again, before we finish our row, we're going to... Okay, before we finish our row, we're going to stitch directly into this bead over here in this corner. Okay, and we're going to pull this... Oh. Let's try that again. So we're gonna stitch through through this bead here. And now I'm actually gonna pull tight. So you can see a little bit better. So we're gonna close. We're gonna stitch through this bead here.
We're going to reverse directions and stitch through this bead here. And now the last bead is going to be this one here. So I'm going to pull this before I actually go through that bead. Okay, and then just go through that final bead. And then just pull tight so that the two seams meet. Or the rather the, the double um, beads uh, seam. And then here we're just going to continue with our peyote. So we're just going to do peyote while we go up. If you recall from my last video where I showed you how to do the single seam, um, I explained this in a little more detail, so I'm just going to go a little bit faster. I will add the link to the other video if you so if you want to see that again. But this is basic even count peyote. This is basic peyote, so we just peyote our way up here. got to this corner and we're just gonna bead down And here we're gonna we're coming to our last bead. So we're gonna add that last bead here. And now here we have our turn. So to turn to turn ourselves around so that we can continue beading up, we are going to go. You see that this bead here lays right in between these two turquoise beads here. So we're gonna stitch into the top one in this direction. Okay, gonna pull. Now that we're coming out of this bead here, this turquoise bead here, we have these two beads here. We're going to stitch through both of them, but we're gonna stitch through this one first in this direction. So we're stitch through this one first. Now we're gonna we're going to reverse directions and stitch through this other bead here, the one that's right above it. So this is where we turn ourselves around here and now we're going to stitch through this bead which is the one we had originally we originally stitched through when we were coming down and that's your turn so now you're just going to um, peyote our way up again and our way down So I'm just going to do this a little bit faster because I want to show you that turn one more time.
Just one second here, I got myself tangled up with the other thread. Let's get that out of the way and let's continue. Sorry about that. And here we got to that tip at the end. And that's Oleg again. So we just bead down, we just uh, peyote down. And here we got to our last bead. So we add our last bead and here we got, we're gonna do that turn again. So once again, this bead that we're coming out of is lays right in between, lays right, right in between these two turquoise beads. So we're gonna go in through the top bead and the next one down here. So if you see, I'm going through these two beads right now. So we're gonna pull that and stitch that. And this is where you can tighten a little bit. Now we're gonna reverse direction and stitch through this bead here, and we're gonna come out of the bead we originally went into. So let's stitch through this one first. And this is where you can tighten that up and stitch through this bead here, which is the one we originally went into. And that's it. That's, uh, that's basically how you do the uh, peyote with a twist double seam. So just continue going, um, beating yourself up to this corner, beat down again, do that turn, and continue that for as long as you um, need to or want to on the project that you're working with. And that's basically it for, for peyote with a twist, not crochet with a double seam. So hopefully uh, you liked this video. If you did and you find that you learned how to do it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, feel free to share it in your social media and come back. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos. Bye. Okay, so to get started with our um Peyote with a twist, not crochet with a double seam. We are going to start, of course, the, the same way we always start even count peyote with an even number. Um, of course, you can always do it with whichever color you, um, <laughs> someone decided to, that it was time for me to stop recording. You see him a little bit here? <laughs> He just hopped on my table, okay. <laughs> Look at him here. Say hi. Say hi to YouTube, no. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to start again. <laughs>